Got another bunch of questions on the amount of substance topic and as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try them first. Okay so we'll make a start. So the mass of calcium is the moles which will be given there times the MR 0.0525 to three significant figures. Volume of hydrogen made at RTP is the moles of hydrogen which is going to be the same as the moles of calcium from the ratio and the equation multiplied by the molar gas volume 24 gives us that many decimeters cubed. And the final part of the question, the concentration of the hydroxide ions in this 250 cm cubed solution. So the moles of calcium hydroxide that's going to form will be the same as the moles of calcium used, but the moles of hydroxide ions, you can see from the formula there, is going to be double that. So in terms of concentration, moles divided by the volume, 0.0105. Question two now, how many moles of anhydrous magnesium sulfate have formed? So it's obviously mass over MR, 0.01254. Another mass over MR calculation to get the moles of water, so it's 1.57 over 18, 0.0872. And then to get the value of X, so the moles of water of crystallization in this hydrated salt, it's basically this as a simple whole number ratio. So we divide the bigger number by the smaller number, which gives a calculated value of 6.96, but we normally report it as a whole number, so x is 7. Question 3. The moles of hydrochloric acid used, concentration times volume, remember the volume's got to be in decimeters cubed, 0 0.0160. So we use the mole ratio in the equation to get the moles of magnesium hydroxide that are in the tablet, so it's going to be half as many. And then to get the percentage by mass of magnesium hydroxide in the tablet, we need to find out how many grams of magnesium hydroxide that is, and find that as a percentage of the mass of the tablet. So the mass of magnesium hydroxide, moles times MR, is that number there. The mass of the tablet, just be careful, they've given us the tablet mass in milligrams, but obviously we're working in grams here, so that's not 0.5 grams. So the percentage by mass of magnesium hydroxide is obviously the mass of magnesium hydroxide over the mass of the tablet times 100, 93.3%. Number four, what other type of reaction has taken place? So the, the teacher has heated the potassium chloride 5. You can see it's broken down. So that's thermal decomposition. So moving on to the calculation, the first thing we need to do is work out the moles of potassium chloride 5 that the teacher's heated. So mass over MR, which gives us that. The moles of oxygen, so you can see in the equation, is a 2 to 3 ratio of the potassium chloride 5 to oxygen. So it's going to be 3 over 2 times the moles of potassium chloride 5, which gives us that number there. And then to get the volume of oxygen at RTP in centimetres cubed, we multiply the moles of oxygen by 24,000, which gives us 242 to the nearest whole number. Last question. So the first thing we'll do is work out the moles of sulfuric acid. Concentration times volume in decimeters cubed gives us that many moles there. The moles of aluminium sulfate formed, you can see from the ratio, is going to be a third of the moles of sulfuric acid, which gives us that number there. And then all we've got to do is multiply the moles of aluminium sulfate by its MR and give the answer to three significant figures, which comes out at a mass of 0 0.120 grams.